Hey, how you doing? Mari Goldstein Denuccio here. Today we're all here. Hello. Sir. My name is Flavius Magnanimous Quentin Terry. Right, Flavius. We're here to talk about water conservation. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does the Denuch care about water conservation? Well, I'll tell you. We live in California. We're in a drought here. That means every single drop of water that's wasted is money out of my pocket. I don't like that. Let me give you an example. The farmer's got to water his crops, right? Well, the harder it is to get water to that farm, the more his expenses are going to go up. The more his expenses go up, the more the price of the food goes up. Eh? Plus, you know, the more it costs to transport water, move it around, get it from one place to another, that's an expense. That's a cost. That money comes out of our pocket. Plus, saving water is good for the environment. Right, Johan? That's right, Mort. I heard that if you don't drink water, you can die. No, I don't think so. Why don't you give that a try? Be nice, Maury. And you're right. Wasting water does cost us money. But it's also important to remember that water on this planet is finite. We don't have an infinite supply, although it may seem that way. So it's really important to conserve. Here are a couple ways in which we can conserve water. Don't leave the water running when you're brushing your teeth. That's right, Mort. And instead of washing dishes in running water, you can keep a basin of gray water. To gray water. To gray water. To gray water. And put the dishes in the gray water. Exactly. That way you don't waste water trying to wipe off those caked up foods. Eh? Don't wash your clothes. You have to wash your clothes, Mike, but maybe wash larger loads. That's a way to conserve. Don't shower. Don't shower? This guy. Well, you can certainly take shorter showers. I used to spend time in the shower to work on my Christopher Walken impersonations. You are not going to believe where the soap is right now. But now I do it in the closet to conserve water. Here's one for you. Depending on your toilet, you use between one and a half and seven gallons of water every time you flush. Well, there's a saying. If it's yellow, let it mellow. And if it's brown, flush it down. Which basically means... Yes, it means basically if you crap, you can flush. But if you pee, you let it sit in a toilet. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, isn't that unsanitary? As long as someone actually poops and flushes, not at all. In fact, bacteria actually flourishes in water as opposed to in urine. Just kind of keep the bowl clean. That's all. I like to flush. It's an option. If you don't want to leave pee in the toilet, by all means flush. Maybe take shorter showers, though. Or install one of those water-saving shower heads. Or one of them water-saving flushers for the can. Or put an eraser on your sink faucet. You mean an aerator, but I like the attempt. Oh, for sure. An aerator is a great idea. An aerator is a tiny little piece of hardware that if put on your sink can reduce a gallon and a half of flow every minute. Oh yeah. And if your faucet drips, that can really add up. Up to thousands of gallons a year, Mark. You gotta fix those pronto. I have a pretty bad nasal drip, but that goes back into my body. Here's one. Sometimes you gotta wait for the water to get hot. Well, when it's time to shave, when I do shave, I just wait for the water to get hot while I'm brushing my teeth. Then, once the water's warm enough, I can shave. No, 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 Wes, you got it all wrong. Metal expands in heat. You don't shave in hot water. You shave in cold water keep the blades nice and sharp. That way you don't cut your face. Oh, is that why I keep cutting my face? We're getting off topic here. But yeah, some houses do take a little while for the water to heat up. So what you can do is you can fill up a vat and use it to water your plants later. That way you don't waste it. I think that covers the indoors. Let's move on to outdoor water use. To gray water! Flavius, there's no gray water. Yes, there is. Now, there's a saying here in California. If the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, tell your neighbor to turn his sprinklers off. We're in a frickin' drought. Huh. <laughs> oh, you got that. This guy's not so bad after all. You're right. Lawns. Don't need that much water. Here's five things you can do. One, water every five days in summer or every ten days in winter, if that. Two, water during early morning or twilight. That way the sun's not beating down on your lawn, evaporating the water real quick. Three, don't water your frickin' driveway. Come on. Four, flip out your leafy green plants with succulents like cacti. They're beautiful. And five, raise your mower blades up. That way it keeps the lawn taller 
and it creates shade for the ground underneath so it doesn't evaporate the water real quick. Here's another thing you can do. Make people aware that we need to conserve water. Here in Cali, we have a lot of visitors in from out of town. You could say that. Well, yeah. We let them know that Cali's in a drought, and it's extra important to be mindful of our water use, so we give them tips on how to conserve. So let me close this one out. You got this one, Maury. If there's anything you heard today that you can do to conserve water, do that day. You're helping human beings survival. You're helping the planet. And keeping the money in our pockets. This has been a video on water. Please share if you value humanity. Maury, did you write that? Yeah, I figured it might get some more subscribers for the channel. Hey, if people want to subscribe, they're going to hit that little button in the corner. Yep, that little red button right there in the bottom right of the screen. They're going to hit that if they want to subscribe. They want to see more of us. They're going to hit that button. Yep, right there.